One of our most cherished freedoms is the freedom to travel. We exercise this freedom nearly every day, whether it's going to work, the grocery store, or going on vacation. So let's take a few minutes to discuss what rights you have when you're stopped by the police while you're exercising your right to travel. So what do I do if a law enforcement officer stops me in my car? If you're pulled over, you should pull off to the side of the road calmly, and you must show your driver's license and registration. But roll down the window enough to hand them over and to converse, but only if you choose to. Remember, you and any passengers always have the right to remain silent. An officer can ask you to step out of the car, and you should. But you should remove the keys from the ignition and close and lock the door behind you, and do not consent to any searches. Does a law enforcement officer have the right to search your car? The police cannot search your car unless you either give them your consent or they have a warrant present. But remember, your rights in a car are not as apparent as they are in a home, as an officer can easily see into the window of a car, unlike seeing into the window of a home. The only way they can search your car without a warrant is with probable cause, meaning knowledge of facts or reasonable belief of criminal activity. This can include suspicion of evidence of a crime in your car or there's some sort of criminal activity taking place. The police officer cannot use your refusal to give consent as a basis of doing a search. What are my rights as a passenger in a traffic stop? As a passenger, you cannot be held responsible for the driver's conduct and are generally free to leave unless police become suspicious of them during the course of the stop. However, this happens frequently, so it is important to remember you have the right to remain silent and refuse search requests. So when are you free to go? Unless you are detained or arrested, you may terminate the encounter at any time, but do not wait for the officer to dismiss you. Ask if you're free to go. An example can be, officer, are you detaining me or am I free to go? This can help withdraw you from an encounter and deflect any of the officer's concerns. And remember, the Fourth Amendment protects your right to refuse search request, but it does not tell you about your right to refuse. Remember, you always have the right to refuse.